Today I'm gonna present to you a very easy dessert. It's uh, something like a no bake cake, if you like to call it. It's very easy to make. You you see in a moment. I'll, I'll run through the ingredients and later in the description I will show you exactly what's in it. And here you go. First you need almond or plain fingers like this and Greek yogurt mm, peaches in syrup sugar and chocolate of your choice in the original recipe it's dark chocolate but because I didn't have one I just use what I had at the moment and uh, I will leave you for a second so I can uh, prep some things and then I'll show you the rest of the recipe in the peaches and now we'll proceed to cut them into slices little cubes if you like and uh, then we'll proceed with the rest here are the cubed peaches roughly this size and now I'll proceed to make the creamy mixture which will put between the uh, almond fingers and I'll show you in a moment how this will look like. I put the yogurt in as you can see it and uh, now I will um, add sugar and the vanilla extract and then we'll mix in the peaches. Vanilla extract is in together with the sugar and now we'll proceed to add the peaches to the mixture and then I'll show you how to assemble the, the peaches are in I have to stir it very well until it com it's combined and I will show you how to proceed with assembling the mixture is very well combined now as you can see and I will bring the, the other ingredients and start assembling <laughs> just give me a moment here you go I layered our tray with the first row of uh, the almond fingers. As you can see, I put one packet of them and uh, from the other two, uh, from the other packet, I cut halves so I can make the perfect shape of the bottom of uh, the tray. And then I'll put the mixture, creamy mixture on top and another layer. See you in a second. This is how it looks like uh, after the mixture is put onto the um, fingers. It's spread and covering nicely. And then I can put second layer of almond fingers on top. The second layer is applied and now I can proceed to cover it with the rest of the creamy mixture. Here is the second layer of the creamy mixture applied. As you can see, it's covered completely, covered all the almond fingers and uh, now the only thing I have to do is to grate some chocolate on top and put it in the fridge for roughly three hours to make sure uh, the almond fingers took uh, the mixture and they become softer and nice to eat and I hope you like the recipe and uh, if you do Please like and uh, subscribe. I'll be very grateful. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye bye. It's completely finished with the grated chocolate on top. Um, it's really nice and uh, tasty and easy dessert to make. Thank you again and bye bye.